We have new information this morning on an alleged security leak by the Obama administration. Officials are accused of telling Hollywood filmmakers too much about the raid that killed Osama bin Laden. Chip Reed is in Washington this morning. Chip, good morning. Well, good morning, Erica and Charlie. You know, it's no surprise that the Obama administration would enthusiastically welcome a movie about the killing of bin Laden. But some critics say what is surprising is how far the White House was willing to go to get that movie made. The mission to kill Osama bin Laden is the stuff movies are made of, but newly obtained documents reveal the Obama administration went out of its way to give access to two well-connected Hollywood filmmakers. While asking a CIA official to speak to one of the filmmakers, a public affairs officer wrote, I know this is a little outside what we typically do, but we're trying to keep his visits a bit quiet. Sources tell CBS News the White House put the movie on the fast track, aggressively looking for ways to help. Republican Congressman Peter King says the administration crossed the line. I give the president full credit uh, for this raid, but it seemed as if the White House wasn't content to let that be enough. I believe they, they could have compromised secrets. They could have uh, put people's lives at risk. The documents were obtained by Judicial Watch, a conservative government watchdog group. They reveal that director Catherine Bigelow and screenwriter Mark Bowl, who both won Oscars for the motion picture The Hurt Locker, met with top national security officials, gained access to SEAL Team 6, and visited the CIA where some of the planning took place. But administration officials say the meeting with SEAL Team 6 never happened, and officials who did meet with the movie makers did so to make sure they got the facts straight. A Pentagon spokesman said this is something we do every single day of the week, and this is not driven by politics. Even so, many officials, including former Defense Secretary Robert Gates in an interview with Charlie Rose, have expressed frustration over how much of the bin Laden mission has been leaked. The night of the bin Laden raid. Uh, and the assassination and the The kill. one where we pledged each other we would never go up public with operational... And how long did that last? Five, five hours. <laughs> White House critics have said that what the White House was trying to do was get the movie made before Election Day. The White House denies that. The movie is now set for release sometime in December, after Election Day. Charlie and Erica? Chip Reed, thanks.